much. All right, lots of people take selfies to make an occasion. Well, now a love of selfie taking could lead to arrests for some young girls in Russia. Dee Davidson joins us now with that in the buzz. All right, happy election day. Happy election day to you guys out there. Well, a wall displaying paintings by Salvador Dali and Francisco Goya was knocked over, causing damage to some works of art. It happened as a group of girls in Russia tried to take selfies against the wall of the museum last month. Take a look. The girls are seen on CCTV footage in an area near the temporary wall where the paintings yeah, were displayed. Authorities believe one of the girls knocked over the wall when she tried to take a selfie with the display in the background. According to the museum, the frame and glass on the work by Goya broke. The picture by Dolly was destroyed. A police investigation is underway, and I hope her family is in the good hands of Allstate or State Farm or <laughs> Geico or whoever their insurance company yeah. because that's going to be a pretty penny because they have not named the pieces of work yet that are mm -hmm. the subject of this, so we don't know the value. Yeah, and no. surely they have insurance though. You know the museum, oh, sure. or, right. you know, they've oh, got sure insurance. Do. Oh, but. sure, but. Woo! They will be filing with those families. <laughs> yes. Now. And so, of oh, course, yes. we're talking about, you know, Salvador Dali with the mustache and something like uh -huh. this, and mm -hmm. Goya. And so, of course, these are surrealist uh, artists from the 1920s. And, you know, if you're thinking about, okay, who can I kind of think of? And you're thinking about Pablo Picasso and Frida Kahlo with the, the mm -hmm. unibrow. Right. And so, these are significant this is big time pieces. girls. <laughs> exactly. Girls. Exactly. And so, I, I guess I can understand why they were interested because they're very yeah. modern and very very abstract mm -hmm. in their their presentation but mm -hmm. still or maybe things. just put the phone down and enjoy the art for a little bit that's you know? right selfies yeah. are not always appropriate yeah <laughs> you don't have to share everything on yes. facebook okay here's something that people are sharing a mysterious object spotted tumbling through our solar system last year may have been an alien spacecraft sent to investigate earth Hello, Evelyn, are you listening? At least that's what astronomers from Harvard University suggest in a research paper. It was first discovered by a telescope in Hawaii and was traveling at speeds they're saying of 196,000 miles per hour. That high speed is what the Harvard astronomers are basing their theory on. We may never know if they are correct or maybe it'll end up on a program called Ancient Aliens. Ooh, uh -huh. that show is good. It is. My mother, <laughs> my mother so loves, she loves it. it. And so, it's of course, so when Ray gets there with her, she's like, they're watching it. And then, of course, I kind of peek around the corner and I'm looking at it, too. I've yeah. not seen it, but... It's interesting. Whether really, you believe or not, it's, it's intriguing. It, it is intriguing. That it's whole like, other is it real? Well, because, I mean, can we yeah. really be that self-centered or that mm -hmm. thinking that we're so great that we're the only things out here in the universe spinning mm -hmm. around? Something's mm -hmm. got to be Yeah, there. to our knowledge, Right. we seemingly have been, but it's like, I don't you don't know what you don't, you don't know. know. Yeah, but you know what? So, this little boy's going to know something about a spanking because an 11-year-old Ohio boy could face felony charges after leading police on another high-speed chase. Uh-huh, you heard me right. This is his third one. It happened Sunday night in Brooklyn. Of course, officers first caught up with him outside a fire station, but he refused to stop. They say he led them on a chase, reaching speeds of 90 miles an hour. This is very similar to not one, but two cases last year where they took the family vehicle, this little fella, out and led police on the chase. This time, the chase ended when he flipped the family SUV. The 11-year-old driver was treated for some bumps and bruises. The boy's mother says he took the family vehicle because he was angry that his PlayStation game had been taken away. No word on what charges he or maybe even his mother might face. Hmm. Oh, that's a good, a good dose of parenting might help a little. That's a spanking. I'm oh my sorry. Goodness. That's crazy. It's crazy. Exactly. Oh my it's, it's scary when you, when you see that video. I mean, how many other people he's putting in danger. Exactly it's right. You over know. a PlayStation. I mean, he was going so fast. Right. Yeah, that, that is, is so pretty scary. Bad. Exactly. And that's the bus. Okay. All right. Thanks, Thanks. All right. Stay with us, everybody. More LEX 18 News at 4 next.